three years ago, the Wheel and the Carnegie UK Trust initiated the People's Conversation. The conversation was aimed at creating opportunities for people to take part in discussions and think about what we can do to shape Ireland's society in a way in which everyone can participate. We're delighted to be launching three follow-on reports to the People's Conversation. The reports aim at exploring income adequacy and financial inclusion. They look at democratic participation and they look at active citizenship. This report looks at the issue of financial exclusion. Uh, there are many people in our society who can't participate fully because they don't have the income to do so, and that income is from work or out of work. Uh, and also there's an additional layer of financial exclusion for people who, who can't access financial services, basic financial services, in order to save the money, get credit and so on. And that further excludes them uh, from the society in which they're living. We need a financial inclusion strategy and we need different stakeholders and a collaborative approach to this. This is not just the government's business, it's everybody's business. That means bank, regulators, communities, we all need to work together to ensure that people understand and have a good basic financial education. This report is really about the relationship between citizens and public servants how citizens participate, how public servants do their work. This is an important issue because there has been two conversations going in parallel. One is public sector reform and one is citizen participation. But I think it's time we got them to marry, basically, um, and to learn from one another and enrich one another. So our report is about active citizenship. The report makes two crucial core points. The first of them is that in order for charities to support active citizenship, um, the way in which they're being asked to perform more and more business-like functions can be a problem. The second is that the current regulatory systems under which charities are, are working, the kinds of contractual arrangements they are uh, getting into with government agencies can also constrain their ability to, to support active citizenship. So the report is really about unpacking those two core, core points. Active citizenship, being a participant in society, it's a really important thing for all of us. Whether we want to be involved in a local sporting association or arts organisation, or whether we want to take on some of the big issues, such as homelessness, addiction, so what the report looks at are some of the rules and regulations that have come in from different public agencies uh, which can restrict the ability of organisations to really allow people to be active citizens. So it's important that all of that is looked at and in a similar way our own voluntary organisations have to look at their own governance, how they work, to make sure they're really giving people the best possible opportunity to be active citizens. We'd like to invite you to visit our website at peoplesconversation.ie to have a look at the reports and to contribute to the ongoing conversation that we in the Carnegie UK Trust aim to facilitate in Ireland into the future to ensure that we can all participate to the full in our society and realise our full human potential. Mm -hmm.